Here's the Riehu. We're going to go on 667. I guess it's Mount Buckhorn up there. Um, mountain bikers tend to have like names for all this shit. 667. <laughs> Funny because this was all made by dirt bike riders back in the day. Okay. Here, let me. <laughs> I figured I'd see somebody. somebody soon. There's two more at the lot. Somebody. Yeah, so. they were at the lot when I was. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where are you going today? I'm gonna go up, maybe do Mount Rosa. Don't know. Just taking a quick loop. Yeah. A couple yeah. hours. <laughs> this point kind of like the standard checkpoints you see in my videos but hey it's a good spot you know I'm starting to get used to this bike power delivery and suspension
this is one of my favorite sections of the trail. It's just so flowy. You got these back and forth. It's getting a little wolf out of spots, but still a pretty smooth, flowy trail overall. Not the smoothest over, but my water got a little gnarlier over time. And really, it doesn't matter as I learned a TKO, right? As long as you can keep your momentum and keep going, other people will just get stuck on that simple stuff. You don't have to clean it. Obviously, clean it is better. You, you can smoother, you can get through it. At speed, especially, you know, you're going to make more time. But just a normal average guy in amateur class, you know, just getting over in general and continually moving, it should be your goal. <laughs> the the uh, idea that somehow, you know, you're gonna roll up there and freak out, probably shouldn't do that in a race. Like the logs I, I went over in my TKO video, you, you, you know, I just smoothly went over them. I mean, other than that first one on the race day, although I made it perfectly fine on hot lap day. How embarrassing, but point still, even though I went down, I also jumped up, grabbed the bike, got up, got on it, and continued, all within seconds. Too many people will fall down and then be shocked about it. There's nothing to be shocked about. You went down, jump up, pick up your bike, and that might be coming from years and years of riding the XR650R on hard trails, where being a kickstar on the bike, that if it was running and it was down, I was picking it up as quickly as possible and keeping it running, so I didn't have to kick it. So it might come from, from that, too. Plus, when you initially go down, you do have a shot of uh, adrenaline, so you got that like instant strength. You just pick it up, and you're not even really tired if you do it right away. I found if you kind of sit there, you know, say you're gonna take a picture of the bike being down, and five minutes goes by, and then you pick it up. It always seems heavier than when you have that shot of adrenaline going through your body. And by the way, today's a beautiful day. We're supposed to get a, a, an epic, I guess, storm coming through, some raging storm, and uh, need to be out of here by noon. And yeah, it's nice and breezy, it's cool, which means a storm's gonna come. And then it's probably going to drop below freezing with hail or something. Go, little chipmunk! Go! <laughs> he got a little exercise. I don't know why the chipmunks always run out and then run straight down the trail. So you just make that jog and I won't run you over. Fortunately, this year I've killed two chipmunks. So I don't want to kill a third. I feel that would be unlucky. Good stuff. Radiator fans on. Oh yeah. I've never noticed that before, and you might not on camera. There's a Volkswagen Beetle down there or something. So that means this was probably a road at one time and came back here, because how else would that have gotten there? I did never know there was a Volkswagen Beetle 
down there. That is pretty cool. I'll check it out next time. I'm pressed for time due to weather. Yep, that means you used to be able to probably drive back here. This is probably a road. How far it went as a road? Who knows? It might have just went to the big uh, curve that's wide. Landed there. I mean, you can tell this bank was cut in, and it wasn't cut in for a trail. It's old all the trees growing here so yeah that vehicle got abandoned a long time ago oh i was thinking of this curve so yeah must must have continued at one point that's pretty cool Didn't do it right. Well, here I am at the top of Jack's at the road. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Next video is going to be me taking the Rayu on 672. Thanks for watching. Bye.